Okay guys, as you can see I flip the plates and paint with the um, surface primer dark yellow. Okay, only for the the paint we'll have something to grab. I'm going to make a uh, shipping on this. So I'm going to put uh, the color shipping beneath of this, okay? And then I will paint with the Dunkel Kelp on this, okay? So let me show you how I do it. And let's prepare, okay? Okay, so let's paint this with the color shipping. This is for you, Pierre. You are asking about the video of shipping, so I'm showing you how I do it. Okay. This is the color I used to make shipping with a sponge or a, okay, just clean and drop. You can see it's one drop. It's enough. Yes, and it is. Um, so now I want to have some little contrast. Okay. Just give a little of this dry. It. Now I'm going to grab this uh, rotten brown and just give a nuance on certain areas, okay? As you can see, what I am doing now. This is how you can get uh, a nice effect of rust you can see with these little mixers of color you can make uh, this to seem very rust okay it's easy guys shipping color 044 from me to make the um, the base and you use uh, the rotten brown uh, 0 14 okay and and makes this expert I think it's went <laughs> real good 
if you want to put more you can put any either with this three drops of this we know with a drop of white and you can make more but this is going to be down on the chipping okay so it's done okay guys um, now it's time to before uh, applying the scratch effects uh, I'm going to put uh, coats of matte varnish okay because this to have uh, a matte um, surface okay so I'm going to give and with this I always 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 give with the brush okay not and as you can see it's the way I do it and for me I know it's the best thing because it goes everywhere okay If I do with the with the airbrush, normally if it stays with a thin coat, okay. And I don't want a thin coat. I want a heavy coat for this have something to grab and have a good. I'm putting here on the side still very important to do that okay, you see, if you have you see see you have too much remove excess okay and for me works all the time like this so now let me do upper on the middle, on the sides. It's very important you to give to put the varnish on the sides, guys. If you want to protect nice normally. If you don't put at the the sides of the panels or on the side of your models, it's where when you using if you are using animals, it's where it's going to attack first. Okay. my compressor you guys know my compressor you know it's a very big one so it's uh, makes lots of noise on my shop I have that little ones but here I have this big one because normally I do paint works in shirts in helmets okay and I like to have a big flow of air okay sometimes okay it's done now just a little with the airbrush and the nice of and the nice of this uh, this varnish it's it's dry real quickly okay you see it it's done I'm going to blow with all with air because I don't want this to be hot okay so I am chilling this okay and as you can see it stays real nice and now I'm doing the same thing okay 
but now I'm going to use uh, the airbrush for this. So uh, let's do the next step. Uh, I'm using scratch effects. I don't want a big uh, heavy chipping, okay? So I don't going to use not going to use this. I'm going to use the scratch. For this, I'm going to use on my airbrush, okay? So you can do this with the uh, air spray too, uh, but it works nice for me like this way. So let's put this You can do two thin layers of this, but you can put a big, like if this is going to, uh, this is going to dry flat, okay? Don't worry. So I'm going to put away the excess. And it's done. Now let this dry, okay? And when it's dry, I can start working on this one and I will apply the the colors, okay? I'm going to try uh, with my air dry and see how it went. Okay. I know I put too much, and I wanted to show you how this is going to dry wet. Okay. Don't try to dry with something like this or a, or a towel, okay? Have patience and use your air dryer or just just uh, let it dry on, on air, okay? You see these stains? If you do with air spray, it's the same thing. If you do with the brush, it's the same thing. So there is not a um, correct way to put it. I put like this, and I am the only thing I am trying today. It's uh, using the air dryer and see 
what the, it's going to be the reaction. Normally, it's better to you to let it dry, uh, uh, to complete it without this, okay? Uh, but I am trying to do this and let's see what it happens, okay? So the first thing I'm now I'm going to do is start putting the layer of the of the gel, okay? Let's see how it's going to react. Put it in some drops. Okay. Okay, just a little more up there, okay. Got something there, I don't want it. I don't want it could be a problem, I'm going to make a scratch there. So now let's work with the green. Okay, I'm going to work with the olive green. Let's start making the first passage. The way I put this uh, with this difference, it's because I don't want to make the same pattern, okay, on the other side. So for that, I'm using. I make like this, okay? Okay. We put here just some drops of this. Okay, and now let's use the choco brown.
Ok. Okay, as you can see, just a simple pattern. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, now let me clean uh, my airbrush and I'll be back and start to apply the water, okay, and start scratching. So guys, let's continue and trying. I'm using now, um, I'm going to use uh, my air dry again and let's see how it went. We don't have anything to to lose. If you if I make a mistake, I can paint again without no problem. But now I'm going to see if it's going to uh, work nice. Okay. Okay, it's dry. I think you like it. I like it. <laughs> so now it's time to use water. Okay, I'm going to now work with water. Okay, let me grab your um, yes, my my tissue. So. Let me clean good this one and we are going to use uh, clear water, okay? Uh, the tools I'm going to use for this, it's going to be this brush and a, to a toothpick, toothpick, I'm sorry. Uh, and let's begin to activate that thing we got underneath. We are putting water okay and let's see how it went I don't want on this uh, a very heavy thing on this and as you can see there is something it's going to happen now I'm going to use this And it's uh, I think it's working nice. Now let's use this, make uh, this very gentle, okay.
point here. Some more. Okay, it's not. Uh, And if sometimes we need more water, okay, as you can see. And it's making uh, a good shipping there, okay. Now let's put your some all down, okay. And so for me here, okay, I make like this. Two. Okay. So now let's go and activate here. It's the, you, you can see it's uh, it's pulling big ones. Okay. And I don't want that. When you see this uh, kind of. Um, form okay it's when it's going it's making a good activation okay so using my my air dryer okay I think I make a good choice because he, I can work more quickly. Some spots I want to put more water, okay, and making that um, shipping. On up uh, on the bottom, and as you can see, it's. work real 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 nice you can work out here on this this side panels too okay I think it went nice, okay. I'm using that this one the scratches is not heavy. If you want big very clumps of painting out, use the heavy shipping, okay. If you want more control, use scratches. I use this big one, but you can use a more soft and use less water. To control more but I want a thing like this now where it's going to have no paint I'm I'm I have already the color of chipping on the beneath and then it's better to me to work with the rust okay so guys I hope you like it um, 
and is the way you make the shipping okay thank you